what encouragement would you offer to a young Christian leader? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. The, the first thing that, that I would I'd want to say to a young Christian leader is, is we need you. I mean, honestly, like we really need you. There's, there's a big crisis right now, and uh, I don't know if we can necessarily fill it unless we attack it directly. And that's that, you know what, I don't know if we have the next generation of leaders built up right now. And so we need you. We need to pour into you, and, and we need you to, to go after it as hard as you can and pursue leadership and pursue the calling of that and how big of an impact that can be. The second thing that I would, I would tell you as a young leader is that, you know what, stay with it. Um, it's going to be really tough. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. And there's going to be days when you're like, I don't want to do this. There's days when none of us want to do it. But we need you to stay with it. We, we really do. You know, when I was in college, and I think when a lot of people are in college, they go through this extreme idealistic stage where you, you finally discover that there are a lot of problems in the world. And, and I want to devote my life to changing the whole world and saving the whole world. You know, and, and you're this huge idealist. And you get out of college, and sometimes you get a big wake-up call. Like, huh, the world's a little bit bigger than I thought. Maybe I can't save the whole world. And some of us, we jump off the idealistic train and, and we, lose, we lose heart and we don't stay with it. And we're like, you know what, I can't change the world, I can't change anything. And the truth is, we can't change the world. We can't change the whole world. Like, just me. I'm not Superman. I'm not Christ. You know, he can. The truth is, you can change the world of, of one person. And maybe then one person after that. And one person after that. And if you, if you change one person's world, essentially you've changed their world. And that's huge. I mean, the world of one person is a really big deal. And that's what Christ calls us to. You know, go into the whole world and make disciples, baptizing them in my name. He's telling us to be in relationships with people. You know, to, to stay with it, to fight the good fight. You're not going to do everything that we need, to, we need to solve, you know, we're, we're never going to solve all the problems in the world only, on our, only on, our, on our own by ourselves. But you can change the world for one person. So I, I tell you to stay with it and that we really do need you.